girl. I am yoga teacher and yoga therapist Lydia Sass. Welcome to the first of this six part series of Yoga From Home, brought to you by Dunleary Rathdown Libraries. In this series, I will be guiding you through some titles that I hope will help you in your daily practice at home on the mat as well as off the mat. We will be covering topics like yoga for digestion, yoga for stress relief, yoga for anxiety and yoga for better sleep. So I hope you'll tune in and come and find the rest of the videos and practice with me too. All you need for this practice is a yoga mat and a cushion or a bolster to sit on. So why don't you grab those things and come and join me. Now that you've found your mat and a cushion, let's get started. This yoga sequence is called Yoga for Digestion. In this sequence, you will learn poses that are going to help ease common digestive ailments such as bloating, indigestion, sore belly, constipation, or a sluggish lower digestive system. Hopefully these things will help to improve your motility and ease the function of your digestive system as a whole. So let's come to sitting comfortably. Let's reach around and pull the flesh away from our sitting bones. You can find yourself into a comfortable cross-legged position. Make your spine really, really nice and tall. Root down through your tailbone and reach up with the crown of the head. Let's start with a little rocking of the spine. Simply rocking your spine side to side. And as we do this, we're easing off any tension, any gripping that might have happened in your low back, your middle back, or your upper back. And then we'll come back to sitting our spine right into the center of the bowl of our pelvis. I'm gonna get you to place one hand on your belly and the other hand on top, letting your elbows fall into the sides. Bow your chin to your chest and close your eyes. And we'll start with a little bit of breathing. Direct your breath down into the low belly, allowing your belly to fill on the inhale. Empty on the exhale. Inhale, filling. Exhale, emptying. Continue with these nice deep belly breaths. And as we breathe deeply like this, we're stimulating the relaxation response, which originates in the diaphragm. The stretch receptor cells in the diaphragm, as they stretch with that deepening inhale and exhale, send the signal to the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system to bring us into that place of rest and digest instead of that busy place of fight and flight. And as we come into this place of rest and digest, it allows our digestive system to kick back into gear, brings fresh blood flow to the area, and encourages lymphatic drainage in the digestive organs too. So these nice, sleep, deep, slow breaths into the belly and out of the belly. And you might like to count the inhale, one, two, three, four in the inhalation and then a little longer on the exhale one two three four five six on the exhale let's try that again inhaling for four and exhaling for six one more time inhaling for four And exhaling for six. And then returning to your regular breathing, whatever that feels like for you. We'll keep our eyes closed and we'll rub the hands here, bringing a little heat, a little energy into the palm of the hand. And as those hands get warmer, we'll take each hand over each eye and rest the head into the hand. 
Blink your eyes open into the darkness of the hands, letting the light slowly creep in. Inhale and grow taller. And exhale, release. Come back into your room. Welcome. We're going to lean back and switch the cross of our legs. And from here, taking your hands onto your knees. So the first movement that we're going to do is a circling. And we always engage circling movements in a clockwise direction for our digestive system. Super helpful move to do. Really helps to just massage out those internal organs. So little tiny circles to start with, whatever feels good in your body. And then if this feels nice, you can carry on down into those deeper circles, shoulders to knees. But feel free to stay at the first stage, those smaller circles, if that's what feels nice in your belly today. Nice big clockwise circles. And then coming back up to the centre. Once we get to the centre, we're going to start with a little gentle twisting. So we're going to bring our right hand to our left knee, left hand to the ground. We move down to rise up, inhale. And as you exhale, draw the belly back and twist to look back over your back shoulder, relax the shoulders. I'm going to breathe here. As we inhale, the belly fills, but as we exhale, draw the navel back to the spine, squeezing into those abdominal organs, and that'll engage your twisting mechanism. So we inhale to lengthen and lift, and exhale to twist and turn, keeping the shoulders nice and soft. One more time. And then slowly, slowly returning to the centre. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Left hand down, right hand back. Move down to rise up, inhale. Exhale, draw the belly back to start that twist. Just gazing back past the elbow. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, twisting. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, twisting. One more time. And we'll come slowly back around to the center. We're going to bring our arms up to here, bend the elbows, fingers facing forwards. And we're going to twist again, just a little upper body twist here. So we hit the digestive system in a slightly different way. And this time just moving with the breath. Nice flowing movement. Twists are some of the best practices that we can do for our digestive system, bringing out all those internal organs, bringing that fresh blood flow, we twist here whilst rooting down into the base of the body, keeping everything stable. Nice little twisting movement. And then we'll come all the way back into the centre. The next movement we're going to do is a forward fold. And a forward fold is really good for adding a little bit of compression into the digestive system. And then that release when you come back up brings that fresh blood flow and sends it away. So everything is nice and mobilised in that area. It's the opposite of stagnation. We bring our hands out to the sides, take a big breath up, inhale. As you exhale, fold forwards from the hips, keep your back really nice and flat. Drop your hands to the ground, root down into your fingers, roll the chest through the bridge of your arms, and as you exhale, bend the elbows and fold back down and in. Let the head hang here. And we'll breathe here into the softness of your lower back. Allow your belly to be soft. Allow your spine to be soft. And allow your breath to be soft. And then press into your hands, roll the spine like a little rag doll, all the way up to sitting tall, and roll out of those shoulders. Let's bring the hands back behind us, turn the fingers to point back behind you, root down into the fingers and rise up through the chest. So now we take a little back bend, squeezing the shoulder blades in towards the spinal column, drop the chin to the chest and breathe here. Three big breaths. And really open up the space in the front of the body, decompressing. And then come back to the centre. Let's do that sequence again. So we'll inhale up. Try and lengthen the spine, exhale, hinge forwards, flat back. When your back wants to round, hands come down, elbows bend, and we fold all the way down, three big breaths. You might like to do a little rocking from side to side with your spine. And then we 
the fluids press into the hands and roll the spine all the way up. And this time we'll take our hands straight back, turn the fingers to face back behind you. Push down into the hands, rise the chest, roll the shoulders in. Big stretch in the front of the body. And use your breath to open up any tight spaces. And then release, come on forward, back to the centre. Let's just roll out those shoulders. Okay, we're going to come round to all fours now. So you can move your cushion just out of the way. And place your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips here. So you've got this lovely tabletop spine. We're going to start with our cat-cow position. Spread your fingers really wide, tops of the feet on the ground. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, take your gaze forward. And as you exhale, push into the hands and feet, round out the space between your shoulder blades, round the spine, and look down. So we inhale, soften and arch, lift the tailbone. Exhale, press down and round. And here we're just again taking that forward fold and that back bend. So flexion and extension of the spine. And we're stretching out all of the tissues on the front of the body and the back of the body. Just taking away any tension that might be compressing the lower digestive system, preventing it from working as well as we want it to. And then from here, we're going to take our knees wide, big toes together, and set our hips to our heels. We're going to slide our hands forwards here and fold down into child's pose. Forehead might touch the ground. If your forehead doesn't touch the ground, stack your fists and rest your forehead into your stacked fists. Shoulders drawing down the back. Breathe into the softness of your back and allow the hips to open and the belly to gently round into that space between your legs. In this resting pose, once again, we move into the relaxation response, allowing us to move away from fight or flight and into rest and digest, giving all that fresh blood flow to the belly organ. And we'll raise our gaze, take our hands forwards, and here we're going to take a rocking child's pose. So we're going to reach our hips forwards, dip them down, raise the gaze, press into the hands around the spine, and rock backwards. So it's a combination of child's pose and cat cow. You're going to get all the benefits of both those poses combined in one movement. Inhaling as we go forwards, exhaling going backwards, and always moving to the depth that feels good for your body. There's no need to go any further than where it feels great. Last big breath here. Inhaling forwards and exhaling back. And then we'll walk our hands all the way back into this kneeling position. From this kneeling position here, take your hands up overhead, interlink the fingers, and we'll stretch over to one side. Little side fold here. This kneeling position is called hero's pose and it's one of the best positions you can sit into after you've eaten a big meal to prevent yourself suffering from indigestion. This lengthens out the whole digestive tract. And we're going to take that through a circling motion. Circling motions feel so good for the belly and they really help to prevent any wind forming in the belly and creating discomfort. Last one. Come all the way up, stretch tall, inhale. As you exhale, fold to the side. Nice pulsing movement, opening into the sides of the ribs. Stay connected to the underside of your legs here. And then all the way up, and then again, we'll connect into that circling motion, moving around. Coming back up to the centre and exhale all the way back down. Let's roll out those shoulders. Well done. Bring your knees together. So in this kneeling position, we're going to come back into another twist. We're going to take our right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand palm onto the lower back. Press into the floor to rise up, get long in your spine. Exhale, twist to look past your back elbow, drop the shoulders. Keep pressing your right hand into the outside of that left knee and breathe here. Let the belly breathe freely. Soften the shoulders. And 
and you gaze back to the center and release. Let's just swing those arms, preventing any tightness from creeping in. Let's switch to the other side. Hand comes to the outside of the knee, right hand onto the low back, press it into the low back, and as you push down into the legs, rise up, inhale. Exhale, twisting. Drop the shoulders, keep them here. And then come all the way back around to the center, let's roll up those shoulders. Okay, take those knees wide again. And another position that's really, really useful for the digestive system, especially for the elimination processes, is squats. We should practice sitting in a squat position as often as we can during the day. It helps to eliminate any kinks in the lower spine that might add compression and prevent the elimination from happening fully. We're going to bring our hands down, tuck the toes underneath. Push out of the hands and rock up. And here you can see my toes are turned out, my heels are in towards each other and my knees are open wide. You might have to have your hands on the floor for stabilization the first couple of times you do this and that's okay. If you feel steady here, you can bring your elbow to the inside of the knees. You might even be able to lift your hands and press your hands together, opening the knees wider. Take your gaze just down past your fingertips onto the floor in front and then soften into every toe. Allow the muscles of the bottom to switch off. Allow the chest to be nice and open and broad and breathe. Soften through the hammock of the pelvic floor, the muscles between the pubic bone and the back of the pelvis. And we'll just try to let go of any tension in that area. Maybe you can come back to your four, six breathing that we practiced in the beginning. One last breath here. And we'll bring our hands down, bring our knees down and spin around. So from here, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna bring our hands under the knees and walk the feet together. You can see how your spine might want to do this, but we're gonna take our spine really nice and tall and practice a version of boat pose to strengthen the abdominal muscles. As we do this and we provide tone in the abdominal muscles, we also provide tone in the internal organs as well. Let's come up onto the tips of the toes, walking the toes back in as far as you can, keeping your spine tall, and then we'll just walk one foot into the air and then the other. Keep your gaze straight ahead. Spine is really nice and tall like the mast of a ship. You draw your low belly muscles back in towards your spine, open the collarbones and draw the shoulders down the back. If this feels okay for you, you might try taking both feet up, spine is still tall and breathing here. Remember to relax the shoulders and keep the belly nice and full. Well done, one last breath. And then release your feet down, bring your hands to the sides of the hips. And we're gonna roll all the way down onto our back here. You're going to take your feet as wide as your mat. Take your arms out into a T-shape from your shoulders. Drop your chin lower than your forehead. And we'll just windscreen wipe our knees from side to side here now. Gently massaging into the lower digestive system. Softening out the lower belly muscles. And then we'll take this into a full supine twist. Knees go to the left. You can take your gaze to the right, shuffle your shoulders down, and let's take a few big breaths. Bring your head back to the center, knees back to the center, and then just gently flop to the other side, knees to the right, gaze to the left and breathing here. And everything comes back to the center again. We're gonna hug the knees into the chest. So knees to chest pose, really, really good pose. You're putting a little bit of pressure in the lower digestive system. Sometimes they call this wind relieving pose. And we can massage again into that lower digestive system by taking those clockwise circles with your thighs and your knees. Really nice pose to ease off any tension in the low back as well. And 
and then coming back to the center we're going to bring the right foot down and extend that leg to straight flex the ankle so the toes point to the sky bring your hands around the left knee and just draw that left knee in so there's a little bit of compression in that left side press away through the right heel low back is nice and full on the ground check that your chin hasn't pushed up into the air keep it down lower than your forehead and breathe in I'll switch sides left leg comes to straight flex the ankle bring that right knee in hands above the knee just simply letting the weight of the hands stretch out into the hip flexors here into the glute at the back and then adding compression to the lower digestive system. Breathing here. I'm going to bring that left knee back in and we'll take happy baby pose now. So we want to bend the knees and flex the ankles and bring the knees back towards your body. You might find that you can hook the big toes here and hold onto them. That might be a bit of a stretch, so you might just hold on to the backs of the knees and let the knees descend in the direction of the shoulders here. You can take a gentle rocking side to side. This is a pose you see babies doing in their crib a lot. It's really good for our digestive system and babies use it to help combat the symptoms of colic and digestive discomfort come, that come from having an immature digestive system when you're a teeny baby. And we'll come back to the center and release our feet to the ground. From here, align your feet with your knees, your knees with your hips. We're going to bring our hands down to the sides of the hips. And we're going to practice bridge pose. Move your pubic bone towards your face, push down into the feet and sequentially slowly lift your hips, your lower back, your middle back and your upper back until you've got a diagonal line between your knees and your shoulders. From here, tuck your tailbone towards the backs of the knees. We're going to reach our arms up behind us and open the chest and take a big breath here. As you exhale, lower down from the upper body to the middle body, to the lower back and the hips. And then just feel that lovely big stretch in the front of the body as the arms are behind the head. Big breath in and out. Bring the hands down to the starting position and we'll start again. Keep it bone towards your face, push into the feet, inhale, start to peel up really nice and slowly like links in a bicycle chain. Rising all the way up, tuck the tailbone to the backs of the knees and then reach the arms behind your head and breathe here. And then lower down, upper back, middle back, lower back, hips and then take a nice big breath here. One last time, hands come all the way down, pubic bone towards the face, push into the feet, peeling all the way up. When you get to the top, push into the feet, tuck the tailbone towards the backs of the knees, reach those hands high, breathe in. And then lowering all the way back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And when you get to the bottom, take your body into a full body stretch. Just stretch the toes and the fingers. Wiggle out of the hips here. Breathing nice and loosely into the body. Letting everything be nice and soft. And as we lie down here, just bring your left hand to the heart, the right hand to the belly. Drop your elbows and close your eyes. Connecting back into your breath. That 4-6 breath that we've practiced through the class. This four, six breath, bringing us into rest and digest, into that calmer nervous system where everything just works a little smoother. Breathing in for four and out for six. Breathing in for four and out for six. Breathing in for four 
add out the six. And then slowly getting ready to come back into your day by circling through the ankles, bringing a little movement back into the limbs, circling through the wrists and the arms, gently turning your head from side to side. And then taking a big full body stretch with a yawn, bending the knees back in, bring the knees up over your chest and rock side to side again. Little last massage of them. Roll over onto your side and slowly find your way back up to sitting with a nice tall spine. A gentle rocking and arching seated cat cow, moving into the body, waking everything up again. And then we'll come back to a nice tall spine, bringing your hands together and we'll bow to each other. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I hope you'll join me in some of the other practices that you can find on the Dunleary Rathdown Libraries YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us. See you again soon.